Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to wire your LED screen. So once you receive your package, you'll get all your components. One of the first components you'll receive is, um, is your antenna. This is what sends the signal to the sign. So you're going to find the antenna port right here on the bottom. So we'll get that connected. Then you can route your antenna and get that secured to your pole or to the side of the sign. Once your antenna is secured, then the next thing we're going to get is our brightness sensor. You'll notice that this sensor has four pins. So just go ahead and connect that to the four pin port above the antenna. And you'll notice on the tag it has that brightness sensor there. And on the antenna it has that antenna tag. Uh, this, if your sign's double-sided, what you'd want to do is to unscrew the top of this, put it in between um, your cover once your housing is installed, and then you go ahead and screw that in. If you don't have side covers, then you may want to get um, a junction box, and then you can go ahead and um, pop one of those holes out, go ahead and unscrew this, put this inside the box, and go ahead and tighten that back in. All right, awesome. So now we've got our sensor and our antenna hooked up. Next we're going to do our signal cables. So our signal cables are going to be connected in sequence. We're going to go from next to the antenna to the signal 1 port and then we'll take this over to our signal 2 port. So we're going to go over there to that signal 2 port. Get that box out of the way. Alright, so we're going to go to that signal 2 port. Let's just try to keep these wires together. Yeah, we got to tell David, don't make these cables so long. Then we're going to go ahead and um, I'm out of the signal one port here. And then we're going to go up. Um, so the reason we're going up is this sign is, um, is uh, pretty tall. So there's one, two, three, four video cards installed. So we're going up. For most signs, your assembly would probably end here. Uh, but in this case, this sign has a, has a second row. So we're gonna go up. So when we're doing the second row, we're gonna go from signal one. And for the second row, we're going into signal one as well. So notice we're making a straight line there. We're going signal one, signal two, signal one. Then when we go up, we also go into signal one. Then we're going to complete this connection. This time we're going in the reverse. We're coming out of signal 2 and going into signal 1. Right. Yeah. So if you notice what we have, we're signal 1, signal 2, signal 1, signal 1, signal 2, signal 1. So that's how our cable should be. Next we're going to do our power cables. So you'll notice that you receive um, two jumper cables with your sign. Uh, if this was only four panels tall, then you would only need um, one jumper, one power coming in. But in this case, again, this one's five panels tall, so it's going to be in four rows, uh, well, four sections. So in this one, we're going to go out of power two right here. We're going out of power two. And then in this one, we can go either into power one or power two. Doesn't matter in this case. So we'll go into power two. All right, cool. And then once in, we'll go ahead and secure our wires. So let's get those wires secured. All right, cool. Uh, for the next one, this is the main one where the controller is installed. So we're a little bit limited because remember we use this other port here for the sensor. So in this case, we're going to go up here to power two, put that in, and then we're coming down to power one, All right? So we're, we're about 90% complete. We've got those jumpers installed, and let's just put those zippy ties back in. All right, so got those installed. Next, we're going to go ahead and get our main power cables. 
And these are the power cables that's going to be going to your, your power source. So on this one, we can go out of into um, power one right there. And then that's going to, this is going to go back to your, your junction box for your power. And then for this one, because we only have one port available here, we're going to take the power from here, power one up top, and then this goes back to your junction box. So then you just get these two wires terminated, and then you're all set. All right, if you have any questions, give us a call, 866-343-4011.